Well, it's summertime and we're still practicing social distancing. So that means that a lot of us have probably had our summer vacations canceled because a lot of things are still closed. And I do understand why. That just means we have to be a little creative in our summer vacation this year. Okay, just stop. Stop. Okay. Hey, can I ask you a question? Does any one of you know if there is a bed and breakfast open around here? Oh, okay, thanks. All right, well, I guess we're going to be nerdy and pretend this year that we're at a bed and breakfast, so what do we need? Well, let's start by starting a little fire in the fireplace. Clean up the house real good and pretend it looks magnificent. Get in your car and take a ride to the closest grocery store and pretend that everything is completely normal. <clears throat> Maybe pick up some flowers and then peruse the variety of cheeses. How about picking up a bottle of some new wine or two bottles? This one's called Freak Show. Well, since it's vacation, we need a spa day. How about one of these lovely but expensive bath bombs? And let's pick up a movie. Then sit on the porch and drink some wine and eat some cheese and pretend you're somewhere else. Hey honey, do you want to watch Parent Trap or Pride and Prejudice tonight for my vacation? <laughs> Guess we'll watch Northern Exposure and pretend we're in Alaska. And you, you're always on vacation. One big bed and breakfast, every day. So anyway, maybe you want a change of scenery. Make the bed in the guest room and fluff up the pillows really nice. And we have to think about making breakfast in the morning. Okay, you need to make this the night before so it'll be ready. You need one loaf of sourdough bread or any crusty bread will do. And cut it into pieces, small chunks. And pile them up in a small greased cake pan. In a bowl, add five eggs and two cups of milk one-fourth cup of heavy cream, and then a third of a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla, and an eighth of a teaspoon salt. Whisk it all together. This is kind of like a bread pudding, but better. Now pour the liquid over all the bread crumbs and try to get them all soaked. So squish it down with a spoon. Cover it with some plastic wrap, and then put it in your refrigerator overnight. In a Ziploc bag, add a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, a fourth of a cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth teaspoon of salt, and shake it up until it's nice and mixed. Use a half a stick of butter, that's a fourth of a cup of butter, and cut it into chunks and add it into the Ziploc bag, and then store it in the refrigerator till the morning. In the morning, you'll notice that all that liquid has been soaked up by the bread. Pour the sugar mixture on top and spread it around evenly. And then bake it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And there it is, a bed and breakfast French toast casserole. It's pretty easy to make in advance and it's handy to have when guests come over for your little bed and breakfast. You can eat it plain, or you can pour a little cream on top, or maple syrup, and add some fruit. Well, thanks for joining me on my nerdy bed and breakfast summer vacation. Although next month, God willing, we're going to the beach. Thanks for watching.